In this segment, we'll discuss about how to write VHDL code of deep flip. First, let us take an over what do you mean by deep flip flop and its structure. It is one of the simplest types of deep flip flop where we can have a single input as a D and an output as QN plus 1, which is a next state output. Now, if the clock pulse is high and for any of the input combination, the output will remain same. So it simply says that if D is 0, next state output is 0. And if D is 1, the next state output is 1. Now here, the condition of accepting whether input is 0 or 1 depends upon whether the clock pulse is high. So until and unless the condition is satisfied, that is clock is equals to 1, it will not accept the input 0 and 1. That means there will be a delay of 1 delay. And hence, this flip-flop is also called as delay flip-flop or in short, we can call it as D flip-flop. Now coming to of writing its truth table, We'll start with writing its library term as library IEEE. Then we'll write use IEEE dot standard logic 1164. This is the standard package dot all. Dot all extension is used to you uh, used for accessing all the functions and components from this package. Next we'll declare the entity entity D flip flop is where we'll declare the port as D, which is input standard logic. We have clock and reset again input standard logics and next state output as QN plus 1. We'll end the entity, then we'll come across its architecture. So I've written architecture, style of architecture is behavioral, and the entity name is deeply properties. In order to initialize this architecture, we'll write the statement as begin. Now, as we are dealing with the behavioral style of modeling, here the process statement must be included. So we'll write process in bracket. The formal parameter list, the first input is D. We have another input as clock and reset. So we written D clock and IST. Now, in order to uh, initialize this process statement also, we'll write the same statement as begin. Now, let us come across the first condition. If RST is equals to 1, if this condition is satisfied, our next state output is going to be 0. Else, if it will check whether the clock is equals to 1, and is there is any event on the clock now again this clock tick event it, it is an attribute that will return true value if there is a change from 0 to 1 that means it approaches to positive is triggered if this condition is satisfied the next state output becomes equals to d now this simply indicates if d is 0 the next state output will be 0 and if d is equals to 1 next state output is going to be 1 but this condition is satisfied until and unless the clock tick event will be satisfied. That is if the clock is equals to 1. That means there will be again a delay of 1 clock pulse. And as there is a delay of 1 clock pulse, we can call this as a delay flip flop. Finally, we will end the if because we have initiated this term as if statement. So we will write end if. Then we have initialized process statements. So we will write end process. Also, we have initialized architecture, so we'll write NP. So this is going to be the VHDL code for deep flip flop using behavioral style of modeling. I hope you understood the concept of deep flip flop. Thank you.